this is the latest offering from Van Air. This is the Aeronarc 330 diesel. It's 330 amps, 100% duty cycle. It's 10,000 watts AC constant output. It has 12 and 24 volt battery boosting, charging, chassis support, uh, auto start stop. It's got a true American made 60 CFM rotary screw compressor that comes standard with a, a lifetime warranty on the air and you follow the maintenance schedules, use the consumables, fluids and filters, right? The only thing I need to access on this machine is gonna be your engine oil fill for this electronically governed and controlled Kubota D902. As well as on the back side, we have your 60 CFM Van Air rotary screw compressor uh, air filter and the Kubota's engine air filter right here. So that is your three points you're gonna to touch on the top. Then as you're opening over here on the side, so not only are we making it simple, let's say we wanna service this, it's windy out, we're working out in the yard, whatever it may be. It's all toolless removal of panels and such. Oh, so yeah. now I can keep these panels from getting into our way. And now I have access to everything I need to service on this machine. So my engine dipstick for my oil, my engine fuel filter, yeah. my engine oil filter, and then we move over to the compressor side. Compressor oil filter, compressor air oil separator element or coalescing element, our compressor oil level sight glass, our compressor oil fill, as well as our RTDs here, so our pressure and, and temperature transducers, as well as our, they're in holsters right now, but our engine oil and compressor oil drain hoses. From the control standpoint for this guy, uh, so again, trying to keep it as, as user-friendly as possible, we come over here to the Marlin controller here that we're using, where we can select what feature we want to use. So let's say we're going to weld, we can select that. Now we can come over here underneath this key and we can select what type of welding are we doing. Can you uh, fine-tune the welding like that too, or is the yes. welding only yep. stepped? Yep, it's, uh, it's fine-tunable as well. So let's go, we want a traditional uh, arc weld, stick weld there. Yeah. So we can, we can fine-tune this as well. So we can jump or we can use the rotary deal here and we can go by amperage, right? And this panel is removable? This panel right now is shown bolted to it, but uh, again, Aeronarc being the original all-in-one yeah. system, we are also the original for remote panel. So that is pretty common nature for us. So this could be mounted, in, mounted fitted, in a compartment. Yeah. I have complete control over the machine over a single panel. And then I've got a machine located either up on a side pack in the load space. So our target is always to keep it to fit on a 21 inch side pack, yep. fit inside a 48 inch load space. So, yeah. and then the panel again can go in a compartment somewhere else. Nice. This is like a standalone unit. You bolt it onto the truck. That's pretty much it. It's not integrated. This is what we just put on our spare, the gas version of this. So this is the diesel one. We went with gas partly because it was our spare truck. I didn't want to spend too much on it. So we did go with a gas Bobcat air pack on our, on our spare truck. But uh, I think for our next truck, we'd be looking at doing like the end pack in a diesel, just so we can pick up off the fuel tank and go in for like all the integrated stuff that goes into the chassis. You can like recharge your truck batteries, all that stuff. Like similar to what we were talking about on the Van Air units, but I'd probably still stick with like a 30, I think, because I don't really need the PTO power. But uh, pretty cool units. I don't know, look at this one compared to the Van Air. Uh, with all the filters in like one spot. And, like this one looks like a bit of a pain in the ass to do some of them, but it's not that bad. Yeah, that's the Miller booth here at Con Expo. All right guys, next up we got the VMAC booth. So this is our new gas engine multifunction. We just recently released this one. It's got a eight series twin cylinder Honda engine. It's got 40 CFM, eight kilowatt generator, 250 amp welder, 300 amp booster, battery charging for 12 and 24 volts. Really nice system. It's under 500 pounds, 20 inches wide, 47 inches long. It'll fit nicely on the side pack of a service body. This one doesn't have a tank on it right now, but we do have a tank that will fit underneath it. Adds eight inches of height, but it'll be 12 gallons of uh, fuel storage. Um, there's your control box. I'll show you how quiet it is, the difference of the sound from the diesel to the gas. So that's not quite at base idle yet. It'll get quieter. Down to about 1700 RPM. And I'll turn, I'll pull the trigger on this tool just to ramp it up a bit. So that's full idle. Man. Yeah, it's not bad. Like we're saying we can still have a conversation. I mean, I'm yelling a little bit now, but like, it's, uh, you hear when it kicks down a low idle. And, uh, you know, at low idle, when it's on standby, you can hear everything. You can hear guys on site. 
And I find too, so, when you're running the tool, you're not right here. You're over there. There's the yeah. tool noise and stuff, right? So the idle is really nice to be quiet. Yeah. For those reasons, yeah. Now, does this do like a standby mode where yep. like it auto shuts off and yep. it'll start up when the air demand is off again? Exactly, or? yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. And you can set that timer from as low as two minutes to, you can set it so it never shuts off. Yeah, okay. But you can adjust that how you want. So after two minutes, it'll shut the engine, the compressor, everything off. Yeah. You pull the trigger on your tool, it senses the air drop and nice. restarts everything. So you don't have to hop up and down your truck or, or off, up and down the machine to go and start your, your unit up again, right? I mean, it's nice having that standby. Yeah. You know, it's a safety thing and it's just a, you know, I'm sure you save fuel and all that other little stuff that, you know, makes a difference in the end, but yeah. uh, it's yeah. convenience, man. We're, we're lazy creatures. At the end of the day, the job's hard enough. <laughs> yeah. Why make it harder? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, thanks a lot for the rundown on the no VMAC. We appreciate no it. No problem, anytime. This is like the bigger all-in-one. This one's comparable to the N-Pack. What is it, the A60? It's a little big, I always found. Because once you put it on a side pack, it sticks up quite a bit. But I know a few guys running them. The biggest complaint I have heard about it from them is, the, is just the noise. Like, they are a little bit louder. Got a little cat diesel in it, though. All-in-one's kind of the way everything seems to be going. And it's cool that they're offering a competitive package, especially for guys starting out. So, well, I hope you guys liked our little rundown on all-in-ones at Con Expo 2023. Got to see a little variety from Miller, uh, Van Air, and uh, VMAC. So check them out online. And uh, yeah, that's it.